Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. So, um, by the way, I apologize in advance for the lighting. If it's not great, I'm using indoor lighting. The weather has been green rainy all day, but I kind of really wanted to put this up. Um, I know everyone's doing like the yearly favorites, and what I really wanted to do was uh, a video on some of my favorite tried and true products that I would purchase a thousand times over, that I have purchased about a thousand times, and um, nothing short of just like perfect products that work for me. Um, so I thought I would share with you guys in case you were interested. Um, by the way, I am wearing my Bellamy hair extensions and my hoodie is from Vogue uh, Couture. I'll put the link down at the bottom for both of these. Um, Vogue Couture is like a vegan um, website and they make hoodies that are the most comfortable. I could live in them, sleep in them. I'm like in love and this one kind of has like, I don't know if you can see, but it has like rabbits. I don't know if the camera is like focusing on it, but it's really cute. Anyway, okay, so the first thing I think with good makeup and flawless face, it always starts with a good face wash. You guys have recently seen my favorites where I told you it was the Murad spot treatment and I had bought the Murad skin clearing system. I haven't started using it yet, but I do intend to and intend on giving you guys a review on that. But the Peter Thomas Roth um, Beta Hydroxy Acid 2% Acne Wash. Uh, salicylic acid, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, dye-free, oil-free, gentle exfoliating, medicated cleanser is one of my all-time favorites and I have gone back to this a thousand times over and it has always given me clear skin. It is, if you're having any trouble with your skin, I highly recommend you trying this. Um, a lady at Sephora actually recommended it for me and I was going through just an awful skincare issue like a couple of years back and I tried the travel size set and then just got hooked. And for astringent, it's the tea tree toner water. I love this stuff. It is so hydrating. It is so wonderful. Yes, I purchased the big bottle. You guys have seen these in my empties, in my favorites. Um, I plan on purchasing a smaller version of this for travel wise. So um, I really recommend this Lush Tea Tree Water. It is um, awesome for problematic skin. Um, you guys know enough about this, I've raved about it. It's something I just will always have in my makeup and my, um, skincare collection. Uh, next is the Myriad Acne Spot Treatment. I love this. This is my absolute, absolute favorite spot treatment. I have tried them all. They were gone, they were reduced, and they didn't come back. Uh, problematic, hormonal, whatever. This has been just my favorite. So if you try all the others or you have one that works for you, great. Um, don't change your skincare line, but... If you have something that um, is bothering you, blemish-wise, I recommend you trying that. Um, next is, I always have a face mask in my skincare collection, and I do have the Lush, I love the um, Mask of Magnamity. 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 What the heck? It is Magnamity. But um, one that I've been loving... Helen Mint Julep Mask. Um, I'm telling you this because it's cheaper, you can find it at Ulta, you can find this at a drugstore, and it does work just as well. Um, this was recommended to me by one of my loyal subscribers and always have a face mask just for those days that you need a facial or you can't get rid of any other spot issues, you just need something refreshing. Um, next is this Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. I know I've talked about this a lot. This is from Lush. It literally smells like the ocean. I wish you could smell it right now. Okay, if you live by an ocean, go outside and smell it. Just reminds me of the beach. It is amazing. Um, now, recently I was, now you can use this on your face, and I do, and it makes my face so soft. I have to tell you, I've been in dry patches. And I use this on my face once a week, and that's really all I was doing with it. And my face felt amazing. It smells really good. It felt um, rejuvenated. All the dry skin was gone. And I was having really itchy, itchy um, dry skin on my body, like everywhere. It was awful. I was itching. I was so uncomfortable all night long. I used this um, all over my body in the shower, and it was amazing. I highly recommend you guys check this out. I have not found a drugstore dupe for a good exfoliator like this. Um, if you guys haven't let me know, exfoliators are kind of expensive all over. I was recently in all. Um, okay. Next, I kind of want to talk about hair. Um, I always use a heat protectant. I know you guys have seen this all over YouTube, Trust Make Thermal Creations uh, Heat Tamer. I have like two backups behind me in my hair care unit over there. Um, this stuff is wonderful. 
Uh, I have noticed a difference over time in using this. I spray it out whenever I'm going to curl my hair. I don't do it before I'm going to blow dry my hair because I put enough stuff in before that. Um, but this stuff is just great so that my hair doesn't sizzle or fry or split even more. I think it's always important to use a heat protector. Um, next, this is like my third version of this, the Tangle Teaser. You guys have probably seen this in a ton of my videos. It used to be pink. I like the one with the handle because when it didn't have a handle, I was like, told you I was brushing my hair and it like flipped into the toilet like twice, so I had to get rid of that. Um, but this just goes through my hair it's so nice. Wet, dry. It's the only brush that I've used with my kind of hair that I really um, liked. I mean, look at how nicely that just goes through. It tangles, it just kind of glides through and it really does um, go through your hair so nicely. You don't have to worry about really like snagging it through. Work from the bottom, work your way up. You don't want to get um, split ends or anything like that, but this is an amazing brush. And I've seen these all over. I recently saw one in Target. Um, and I've also seen them in Ulta. Another great uh, dupe that I use, wet hair, um, but um, with wet hair, it's the wet brush. And these I've seen in Ulta and in Target, and they're popping up all over. I think I've seen them at Rite Aid, too. Um, so either one of these, they kind of do the same thing. This one's great for wet hair. You don't want to be like, you never want to brush your hair when it's wet because it's at its weakest. You guys know that. You don't want to like rip through it. But this brush is amazing too, and I think I showed you this on Living Social. They have it even at cheaper, like $9, I think it's 12 or something. Um, so those kind of brushes are things that I would always repurchase if they get nasty or old or lose its bristles. They're wonderful for your hair. And my favorite um, dry shampoo is the No Drought by Lush. This one is so light, it is so airy, it smells so nice, it is so finely milled. It is like a soft, luxurious powder. It's grapefruit and lime scented oil absorbing powder to freshen hair. I'm sorry, the label's kind of worn because I traveled with it. This I is my favorite dry shampoo, my favorite powder one. It just chokes up all the oils and just really, um, revitalizes my hair. So I really, really love this one. Okay, next, let's talk, oh yeah, keep going. L'Oreal Al Net. This is like my fifth bottle. I think I've told you this is my favorite hairspray. Um, if you have extensions or even if you don't use clip-in extensions or whatever, um, this is great because it just brushes through your hair like nothing. The next day you can brush your hair out. It still keeps the um, form. It still keeps the shape of the curl and it is not sticky or weird or starchy or I don't even know what it's called. Like it doesn't feel like hairspray and it's wonderful to use on hair extensions. Um, this I got in clearance for uh, six forty eight, by the way. So they do have these on sale. This one will last you forever. I just I love this hairspray. Let's go back to this one because it holds the curl so nicely. Um, this here, this is the Rusk Sensory Smooth Conditioner, and I got mine at TJ Maxx. And what I like about this, first of all, I know it's a huge um, tub of conditioner. This is Passion Flower and Aloe Smooth leave-in conditioner. I love the scent of this, first of all. It smells, I wish they had like a scented gram on here you guys could smell. It smells like they just cut up an aloe plant and put it in here. This is amazing. It reminds me of summer. I always take this with me when I'm traveling, like if I'm going to the beach or something, because your hair gets dry and brittle. And um, one thing about this is you really just put it in from like, you know, mid shaft of your hair down to your ends and you just let it soak and sit as a leave-in conditioner and then you just get out of the shower, comb it out, blow dry it. You don't wash it out, you don't like towel dry it, just literally comb it, let it air dry it, blow dry it. This stuff is amazing, it doesn't weigh my hair down, it doesn't make it feel heavy, it doesn't change the texture or the look of it, it just makes it feel very nourished, very healthy, it takes care of a lot of my dry ends, my split ends, um, especially when you're traveling and you're forever. This is a really, really, really wonderful conditioner. Okay, when it comes to foundation, there are only two I could think of that are my absolute favorite. It is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. And then the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. And I'm in the shade here, 4.0, and here I'm in the shade Soft Honey. I have two of these because um, I am, this one is my winter color, and then my other one is golden tan for the summer. Um, whenever I wear this CoverGirl foundation, no joke, I always get a comment about how good my skin looks. So um, if you are looking for foundation, this is one I will always have in my collection. It is my favorite, favorite drugstore foundation amongst them all. I'm a drugstore foundation junkie. Wonderful, matte, um, flawless, 
um, full coverage foundation. And that's the same with this naked skin. I feel like I'm running low on this one. This one's in shade 4.0. I feel like I could go up uh, a little bit darker in the summer, but this is just, it is, it just says it's a weightless ultra definition foundation, and it really is. This stuff is is awesome. I can't rave enough about this. I use this for every special occasion I have. Um, weddings and everything else, my skin always looks so good. Um, another thing that I love, my favorite, my favorite mascara that's drugstore is the One by One Volume Express by Maybelline. Um, this found, we're on a mascara. This mascara has, look at this one, it just has a really awesome um, wand to just coat every single one of your lashes and it gives my bottom lashes this great um, definition as well as my top lashes. I'm wearing it today. Uh, I wear this in a lot of my videos, but I felt longer, they felt fuller, and this stuff is just amazing. I don't like any of the other, the other um, Maybelline mascaras um, except for this one. I'm like serious about mascara, so really, really like that mascara, and I, I recommend you guys try that out. Um, also, what I always have in my collection is like a light all over bronzer that you can um, dust just all over your face to give um, that foundation. If you have a foundation that's too light for you or you want to just give a glimmer or a glow or you're like, I don't know, you're at the beach and you want to have that extra tan to your face when you're going out at night, you're on vacation. I'm just saying this because I'm going to Florida in a few months and this is what I'm thinking. Um, it's great to have an all over bronzer that just works well with your skin. It's not a contour. It's not a um, heavy bronzer that you could just use all over your skin, but it just gives you an additional glow. And Physicians Formula has a whole bunch like that. Um, the Bronze Boosters, and this is the Sexy Booster, Sexy Glow Bronzer. You guys know I've talked about this a ton of times. Um, but this is just a wonderful all-over glow. Now, I recently was at Ulta, and they had a, they had, it was called a BB Bronzer, and they also had, it had a liquid form and it had a powder form. And it wasn't for BB cream, it was for, um, bronzing balm. So it's got a little bit of a shine to it, but it it doesn't come off that way. It just kind of darkens your foundation. Um, next is this by Wet n Wild. Uh, this is the Reserve Your Cabana. I talk about this a ton. It was like $3. Um, the Bombshell Suite got me hooked on this, and I've already hit pan. Um, this is great just for under eye setting concealer. It gives me like a flawless under eye look. I'm wearing it today. Sometimes you can wear it without putting anything underneath it. Uh, even as a highlighter or to fix a contour or anything. This is just a wonderful, like, everything type of powder. I don't know. I, I can't say enough good things about it. And it's Wet n Wild and it's at Rite Aid. Um, I would always repurchase this. I have always have this in my collection. I'll always travel with this. It's like the physician's formula. There are just things that you add to your face that um, kind of give you something extra. Is, um, Eyebrow. I will always do my eyebrows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. In medium brow. It has a spoolie on one end and the crayon on the other. Whatever brow um, products you love, work it, girl. Uh, I just like this because I've just been starting to do my brows and using doing them daily, and it has made a huge difference in my face. So. Um, I love the brow pot products by Anastasia, and I think these will be something that I always have in my product. They know what they're doing with brows. Um, I'm starting to use the dark part now and the light. I just feel like um, when you're into makeup, brows are a must. Um, it is a splurge, but if you have something that's drugstore that you look better. Is this NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in Light. I talked about this in my favorites. The reason I'm mentioning it again is because... Um, what I like about this product is it gives me two in one. Instead of using, like, I usually use this on special occasions. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles by Maybelline. And this is the Illuminator, and it's like that pink color. So I'll usually use this and then put, like, a um, concealer type. This is the CoverGirl Olay over it. Um, because you don't want to go out there with, like, under eye pinkness and then I'll set it with a powder. So that's a lot, but for a special occasion. That's why we all love getting ready for special occasions. Half of it, um, half of the fun is getting ready. Um, but for this, all I have to use is this. Sorry, I'm just looking out my window now because I can see the reflection of the camera. I'm a little crazy tonight. 
this gives me both of those in one. It lightens and it brightens and um, you don't even have to use a powder with it, but it's really wonderful because it kind of does what two products do and it just it really brightens up my under eye and I love the look it gives me. <clears throat> um, next is the Duo Dark Tone Adhesive Lash Glue. I've tried a lot of lash glue. Um, I don't know about you guys and this has been my favorite. Uh, it just helps my lashes stay on. I'm going to be doing a video soon on how I apply false lashes. Um, and I'm going to be using this. This has just been my favorite. I recently repurchased this. It's something I'll always have because these are the Adele Wispies. They're something I always have in my makeup collection are lashes. Um, these are my favorite ones. They're the Demi's. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to really see those, but this is the kind that I like and that I wear most often. Next is this Urban Decay. This is the Chill Makeup Setting Spray and Cool and Hydrating. I don't really love the new packaging they came out with. It's by Scandinavia. I haven't tried the actual Scandinavia one. Um, they don't sell it at my Ulta. Uh, so uh, I really like this. I always travel with it. I always keep it in my collection. Um, Oil-free, paraben-free. This stuff is just great for setting your makeup. I don't do this on an everyday basis because I don't want to use it all up. Um, but when I'm going out and have a special occasion, I definitely use this. It just feels so wonderful and refreshing on my, on my skin. It keeps my makeup in place every day. It keeps up my makeup in place all day, through the night and everything. Um, next, I recently did a whole video on this. Oh, come on out. But it's the Beauty Blenders. Um, this is the dupe from Marshalls that you guys have seen before. And then this is the original. Look at how small this cute little baby is. Like a tiny little Beauty Blender. This one's wet because I've been using it a ton. This one's definitely more... No. I was going to say this one's definitely more heavier or denser, but I don't think so. I just like to squish these little guys. Little beauty blenders. Okay. Get with it. So, I love the beauty blenders. If you had to throw away all of my brushes and tell me to keep one makeup applying... Makeup applying thing? It's gotta be a bad word for that. If you told me I could only use one thing to apply my makeup, what would it be? It would be the beauty blenders. I love these. These are my favorite. They're like a product I will always repurchase. I have repurchased. The last must-have that I'll always have in my collection is You Got It extensions. I will always have um, some type of hair extensions. I have the SKR brands and the Bellamy hair extensions. These are the Bellamy uh, 22 and 20 gram set. Yes, 220 gram set. Sorry. Um, so yeah, those are my must-have, always have in my collection. If you guys liked this, I hope it was helpful and you found a couple of products that you liked and that you might want to try. I'd love to hear some of your favorite products that you've repurchased over and over again. Like and subscribe. Um, I am on Instagram and Facebook. I wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers out there for your love and support and you're just being so sweet and watching my videos and taking the time out. That means um, the world to me because if it weren't for you and you guys just didn't like the videos, I wouldn't be here. So I hope you guys know that I appreciate every single one of you. I'm thinking of you. And um, I will catch you in my next video. Have a wonderful night. Stay safe, stay warm, stay loving to one another. Bye, guys.